Stripe is one of the most trusted payment processors for people to enter their credit card number and pay for your app, but it has a learning curve. I'm gonna show you how I integrated Stripe with my app, Protect Your Pick, a watermarking site. Stay to the end for a prompt that you can plug into cursorlovable.dev to help you get set up with Stripe. Clicking this button to upgrade to Pro opens this dialog. I can hit proceed to checkout and then enter the Stripe payment flow. Stripe uses the card number 424242 blah, 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 blah to enter fake credit card details for testing. And then once it's done processing, it puts you in the pro tier right here. Any of the users of your app need to update their billing details, Stripe will handle that by clicking on manage subscription and you can cancel your subscription, add a new payment method. You do have to create a Stripe account. I recommend creating a sandbox for testing and go over to the products catalog here and create whatever pricing tier you want to sell. I have my $5 a month plan here. You're also gonna have to set up a Stripe webhook so your app can respond to any Stripe actions that were taken. This is definitely gonna be the hardest part of building your SaaS. That's why I included this prompt on my site, keepaprompt.com, implement a Stripe subscription system for a SaaS product. Read through this and talk with Perplexity or ChatGPT on anything you don't understand. There's definitely a big learning curve to setting up payments for your app. I think this is the hardest part, but we gotta get that bag, am I right? Type part two in the comments if you want more details.